Patients with rotator cuff tendon tears typically have symptoms that are consistent with pain that may wake them up at night. They have pain with the overhead activities. Uh, they have also pain with their activities of daily living. Um, oftentimes, many of these patients have already tried some pain medications with no improvement as well. Rotator cuff tendon tears come in many different flavors. Some can be small tears, some can be just a partial thickness tendon tear, sometimes an entire tendon can tear off the bone. We see really a bimodal distribution with rotator cuff tendon injuries. We see them patients in uh, patients uh, around the age of 45 uh, and younger, right around that age or older, that may have had a fall from a height or some type of injury where the tendon acutely tore off the bone. Another large distribution of patients that have rotator cuff tendon type pain are patients that are older in their 50s, 60s, and 70s who with chronic wear and tear and chronic use and overactivity have developed rotator cuff tendon tears over time that are just not uh, getting better and the pain continues to get worse. The rotator cuff tendons themselves do not have a very good blood supply to where they attach to the bone and therefore they're very common and they don't heal themselves. The natural history of a rotator cuff tendon tear is for it to get worse over time where the tendon re retracts further away from the bone, the muscle part of the rotator cuff gets replaced by fat, uh, and eventually uh, turns into a condition or an arthritic type condition where you lose the ability to elevate the arm and you get a specific kind of arthritis called rotator cuff arthropathy. It's for these reasons why we are aggressive with treating rotator cuff tears, specifically ones that cause weakness uh, or those that have night pain that are not getting better, to reattach the tendon back to the bone.